This is a pretty clear case of a hard uh, set of words in the choices, but a very easy passage if we know the words. Uh, the War of 1812 has blank place in historical memory in Britain, partly because it is overshadowed by the much larger concurrent conflict against Napoleonic France, and partly because it essentially maintained the geopolitical status quo for Britain. So overshadowed is my strong word there, right? It, it literally says because it is overshadowed. So okay, uh, the country neither gained nor lost significant territory or position as a result of its participation in the war. So if you're trying to dumb summarize this and fill the blank, just steal the word that's there. The War of 1812 has an overshadowed place in historical memory in Britain, right? So hopefully you know that word. If something's overshadowed, it's kind of like, um, think about literally what it means, like something overshadows, right? A shadow that you cast from the sun, right? If something has a is bigger, it is casting a bigger shadow. It's overshadowing something that's smaller, right? So that is, it's a very literal word. So uh, that's kind of what we're looking for. We're just looking for something that means the same thing here. So enduring is definitely more of like a positive word, right? If something is enduring, it's going on forever. So hopefully you know the word endure. So it's it's lasting. So that's the opposite of what we want. Conspicuous means something is obvious. So again, if it's overshadowed, it kind of means the opposite, that it, it's not obvious. Something else is obvious. Some of the Napoleonic uh, wars, those are more important. So again, this is the opposite word there. I have a feeling a lot of you are going to pick the word contentious because it maybe sounds a little bit more familiar and also it does have to do with war. So if something is contentious, it's, it's controversial. It's debatable. Um, and so that maybe makes sense because they're talking about war, but th there's nothing controversial here. There's nothing that they're debating. They're not saying some people think, but others disagree that the War of 1812 has been overshadowed. They're they're just saying that's what it is. It, 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 there is no debate about it. That, that is just what they're saying in the sentence. So tenuous is the answer. Tenuous kind of means something like weak or unclear, uncertain, um, Kind of basically what they're saying here that like the War of 1812 is kind of this vague um, minor thing in the history of Britain. It is overshadowed by this much more important conflict in, in France, Napoleonic France. So uh, tenuous is a good word to know. It is definitely a word we could see on an SAT. It is like in that zone of like words we don't use every day, but appear in newspaper articles. So it's a classic SAT word. So yeah, if something is tenuous, it's weak. It's not strong, basically. It's like a if you have a tenuous hold on a rope, you're going to let go of that rope. It's going to fall, right? You're going to slip down and, and lose your grip. So it's a good word to know. Lots of context where it can work, which is also why we might see it on SAT, is it could appear in lots of situations. And so it is a perfect fit here. It's that basically, you know, overshadowed is going to mean something is, is weaker compared to something that's stronger, right? So that's exactly what tenuous means here. But um, if we don't know these words, then this is not a good start to your hard module because you're kind of just guessing. And that's why we got to study vocab so we can make these sentences that are easy match up with some words that we then know and we can get these points locked in.